Well, hello, lovely humans, and welcome back to my channel. Darling, you sent me. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a Target haul because I don't go to Target very often. I work really hard actually to not go there because when I do, I do some damage. Um, and today is one of those days. However, I am pretty good about reusing pieces from previous years. So when I go out for a new season to find extra things to kind of put around the house, I always make sure that I go with my existing decor. So it's not gonna be the biggest haul you've ever seen in your life, but I figured I'd share it with you anyways because I am so excited about some of these pieces that I found. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into it. Okay, so we are gonna start with um, uh, let's start with these sweet little things. They are little pieces, I was gonna say greenery, but technically it's not green. They're little, um, oh, yellow locust stems from Hearth and Hand. Um, and I have these little blue vases that I bought last year for last fall. And I think this like yellowy amber color will contrast really nicely with those blue vases. So I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna do a centerpiece with them or if I'm just simply gonna place them around the house. I don't know yet, but I got five of them because I have five of those vases and I can't wait to pair them together. I always love finding like the perfect piece to go with an existing perfect piece that I already have. So um, I picked these out with the intention of putting them in those blue vases and if they don't work out, I'm gonna be really, really bummed out. Next, I got a lot of hand towels. <laughs> I like dish towels. I like them a lot. Um, and I've recently really tried to stop using as many paper towels as I can. So I'm starting to go through dish towels really quickly because once we've used it for a day or two, I will actually use that to wipe down the counter and then just toss it in the wash with the rest of our stuff. So I felt like it was justified to grab some dish towels. And for those of you who saw my house tour, I already have a lot of orange happening. And I have a lot of green happening um, because those are just the colors that I naturally gravitate towards. So I picked up this set from the dollar section. It has, has cute little phrasing that says pumpkin spice, tea, coffee. So it's like vaguely fall without screaming fall. And then a um, black, gray, white, and green dish towel. Secondly, I got this little number. It is a set of two dish towels, um, or bar towels as they're calling them. One is a black and white buffalo check and the other one says October 31st. My husband and I actually got married on Halloween. I like that it just says October 31st and it's not like super specifically Halloween. So it's like a cute little nod to our anniversary. But everyone else who looks at it is just gonna think it's Halloween decor, but it's not. Let's see, let's, let's round out the dollar section fine, shall we? I also grabbed this from the dollar section um, because I already have an existing like we live near an airport. <laughs> it's a small airport. Sometimes they're still loud. Um, I do already have a basket like this. It's just longer and a different shade. So I figured I would layer this in front of it. And this will actually probably end up being more than just fall decor, but I wanted to add an extra layer um, to the shelf in my vlogging room and our guest room upstairs. I also got an unhealthy amount of fall scented candles. Here's the deal with candles. They are my go-to during the fall and winter season because I simply love the ambiance, but I don't like the scents of most candles out there. Like I'm real picky when it comes to my candle smells. So when I went through the dollar section and the candle section at Target today, I was pleasantly surprised by the amount of candles that I didn't hate the smell of <laughs> because I get real picky. It can't be too powerful because I want it to be lit for a really, really long time. Um, and it can't be too sweet or too, I don't know, there's just so many candles out there that I like, I don't love. And I'm not gonna pull all of them out of here because the judgment would be real and harsh and real harsh. But I will pull out, I got this beautiful like amber colored mercury glass one. The scent is pumpkin and honeycomb. And I thought this was gonna be really, really sweet smelling, but it's not. There's like a freshness to it. Yeah, it's like slightly sweet, but not sugary, which so many pumpkin things are, um, that I really appreciated this one. And last year I had a mercury glass candle on our coffee table here in our family room, and it broke, and I was so, so, so sad about it. So when I saw this, I was like, my replacement, I love you. Now we just have to find a way to keep it away from the toddler, or keep the toddler away from it, because I don't wanna lose this one. Am I gambling a little bit? Yes! Is a mercury glass candle worth it? Yes! I also picked up a collection of just like the cheap candles that they had in there, um, all pumpkin related because 
I just couldn't help myself. And I just want to place these around the house. None of these are too strong smelling. I'm really, really excited about that because then I could just burn them all the time. And then my thought was when the candles are all burnt out, I could just drill a hole in the bottom of these and turn them into little pots for more plants. Genius, right? Thank you, thank you, that's what I thought. Um, and then I got a couple of the ones with the little, sweet little cork lids. This is the Spice Pumpkin. Oh, I also have it burning in the background right there. Mmm, 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 that's a, delicious. I think that's all the candles I'm gonna show you. There's a few more, but we're just gonna pretend like that's it. <laughs> Next, um, because again, we're on that dish towel craze, I picked up a bunch of these from the Hearth and Hand collection. Um, I picked up three of the simple black and white striped ones so they could be a little bit more timeless, but I thought that it would be a fun little twist on some of the fall decor that I have because I do have orange in places, so I thought a simple black and white would work nicely. This one has a little bit of a beautiful like reddish brown burgundy tone to it, which you'll see in just a little bit. That's kind of, I think, the color I wanna incorporate more this year because I already have the oranges and I have the greens and I have quite a few pops of blue. Why not do burgundy as like a, a new fall color for this year? And then this one again has a little bit of that red burgundy tone, so I figure I can either layer these together or separately or whatnot um, to really kind of bring in that warm brown red tone. So that could kind of be like my fall color for the year. Next, I got this perfect little basket. Again, because we're trying to move away from disposable things like napkins, I actually have a collection of vintage napkins that were sitting in a drawer literally probably about to collect some mothballs, and I thought, why don't we just use them? Yeah, they're vintage, sure, but there's nothing wrong with using them. Why not just use those instead? But the problem is I didn't have anything to display them in. Currently, I have like that skinny, um, typical napkin holder that we would put the paper ones in, but the cloth ones, the reusable ones, aren't fitting in there very well. So when I saw this in the hearth and hand section, I knew immediately, I was like, this is the exact basket that I need for our reusable napkins, and I'm so excited, especially because I think the vintage fabric in here is going to look so pretty. Next, I got a coffee table basket. We've had a basket on our coffee table for quite some time, um, but it's, I don't know, easily five years old, and it started to fall apart a little bit. So I actually moved it upstairs onto a shelf to kind of lean as basket decor because one of the handles is falling off, but I turned it strategically so you can't tell, which left us looking a little naked on our coffee table. So I picked this one up. Um, it's the Opal House line, and I can't wait to put like the candle in there. It needs to be raised up. That looks a little dinky. <laughs> So I'll probably put some books or magazines underneath it to raise it up. Maybe a plant, maybe one of these bad boys in, in one of those blue vases. Could you? Mm, I can like already see it coming together in my mind and I'm so happy. So it was time for a new coffee table basket. Uh, it has like a kind of a combination of like mid-century modern meets boho and that is, <laughs> this is my jam. Next up, I got these beautiful burgundy pillows. I figured, like I was saying earlier, I kind of want the my color for this year to be, oh, there's already pet hair all over it. <laughs> I kind of want to incorporate this beautiful red tone because most of my existing stuff, like I said, it's already got that terracotta orangey color. I already have a bunch of green. So I think adding something like this is gonna switch it up just a little bit and make my space feel a little bit more fresh without spending a bunch of money to redo all of my pillows because I already have like a fall colored home so let's pick something a little bit outside the box, but a vague nod to fall, to go ahead and uh, switch up my space. And then last, but most certainly not least, is of the most basic of basic purchases. And I'm 0% sorry. I got the last one, so the box is kind of falling apart, but this letter board, like I, I honestly just camped out in the dollar section and the hearth and hand section and like kind of dabbled in a couple other places, but those are my happy spots when it comes to Target. So I got this letter board. I love that it's different from other letter boards. I love that it's wood. I love that the letters are black. I love that it's different than the other letter board I currently have. As you know, my design slash decor mantra is find something that's normal and step it up just a little bit to make it a little bit cooler. So this is such a cool but classic spin on a letter board with just different textures and I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I'm happy to go play and find out. Then the last thing I got is not decor related at all, but your girl loves a hat. Can, can we even right now, if this doesn't scream, fall. I don't know what does. I don't, it's, it's, this is, they made this hat for me. <laughs> Although it has one of those like string things that may or may not be my vibe. I don't know, oh, it's crooked. Well, we're just gonna go ahead and leave it there. Is there anything I left out? 
No, I'm pretty sure that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see how I style these pieces, let me know in the comments below and maybe I will do a fall decorate with me video because I love fall. My only thought is I'm probably gonna repeat a lot of things that I did in last year's fall video. So I don't know. Let me know if we if we feel like it's worth it because because that'll probably push me to like do something creative and slightly different than I did last year. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.